and you're watching the Global Business Report. Welcome back. Fashion business is one of the fastest growing industries in the world in Nigeria. Its popularity is accelerating every day with fashion designers experiencing an increased need by people who want to purchase designer clothes, wear custom-made traditional fashion items to occasions and events and much more. And our own supermodel and fashion correspondent, Oji Okwe, is in the studio to tell us more. Oji, it's good to have you with us. Good morning, me. So Thank we you for having me today. Indeed, we're discussing yes. your primary constituents, as My it were. primary <laughs> <laughs> So how does a fashion week like they just concluded the Rise Fashion Week influence the fashion market for African designers, you think? So generally for Fashion Week, it's almost like the stock exchange. So basically what the designers do there is they showcase their collections and their clients right there, you know, like in the front row watching and they're obviously taking notes and buying. Uh, some Fashion Weeks also have trade shows included in their Fashion Week. So trade shows are like um, shows that you have your own little kiosk and there they have retailers come in there to buy off from the floor. So it's important for um, designers to, you know, participate in um, a program like a fashion week uh, to just conclude a rise fashion week. Designers um, are, are, it's important that they do that because they, they don't have to pay to be on a platform oh, like a rise fashion week. Yes. They don't so, have to yes, pay. They don't have to pay to right. be on a platform mm -hmm. like a rise fashion week. Unlike other fashion weeks, like mm -hmm. SA fashion week, you mm -hmm. have to pay about, it costs about 40,000 um, rands to yeah. pay for for a designer to pay for a platform like that. Or even at New York Fashion Week, you have to pay about twenty to $50,000 to be on a platform like uh, New York Fashion Week. So it's important for designers to brand themselves properly mm. in order to participate in a fashion week. Like Indeed, Arise it's, fashion it's week. highly lucrative yes. for, for the company and, yes. uh, well, from, uh, and gives limelight to all Absolutely. those prospective uh, uh, fashion designers. Now, what is business like for designers in Africa who don't have strong capital uh, under their wings, you think? Absolutely. It's very tough for them. Like I said earlier, you know, the most important thing for designers is to brand themselves properly and have a strong PR for themselves mm. so they can grow a following. Um, it, it's important that they start small mm. and, um, you know, look within their resources to be able to um, booster mm. their business. Because obviously it's very tough for them to export or expand, which is part of the um, uh, things that grow the fashion industry. Mm. It's the ability to be able to make a collection that mm. is, um, that can transcend globally and, you know, to be able to get as much um, um, global awareness yeah. and funding for your brand. Indeed, very good. And uh, starting small, there yes, is a very good uh, very advice. Key. Yeah, it is. Uh, now, what does it cost a fashion designer to showcase their designs during Fashion Week? Yes, so for example, like I said to you earlier, yeah. at a New York Fashion Week, it costs about twenty two. Uh, fifty thousand um, dollars for them to showcase their brand so okay. they have to really be prepared mm. to go into a uh, new york fashion week so you know you, oh, you, you're they're, not going to be an ordinary the long term benefits of they this. are thinking mm. of the long-term benefits so mm. basically the, the players of the show and the organizers of the fashion they don't only get money mm. from the designers they also get money from sponsors on the show mm. so uh, that's how they make their money yeah, very good. In a related development, how does the influx of importation of fashion goods affect our local designers? I'm sure there's a lot of competition there. Absolutely. It's a big problem for Nigeria especially. Um, but I think that it's also, it could be a problem, but it also helps as a solution because obviously we do not have a huge manufacturing um, industry here, which is one of our issues. So they have to, if they have to um, import buttons or textiles to make their uh, garments, it also reduces the amount of money, revenues that can be generated in the fashion industry here. So um, I think that what uh, the attention needs to be focused on is the growth of the uh, factories and the manufacturing companies here in Nigeria in order for us not to be able to import textiles. But I think that's a long-term goal because first we have to build that before we can um, say that we, are, we, we wouldn't be able to import um, textiles. But it does affect our designers here um, in a way that it adds to the cost of their, um, of their yeah, indeed. making. Indeed, and, and there's a need to revive the textile industries, all those moribund you Absolutely. know, the, you know $4 factories. Absolutely, $4 billion and, is indeed. spent mm. annually and That's, on, that's a lot of money that could have gone into, yeah, indeed. Absolutely. Now, is it important for African designers to look uh, into the export market for potential growth in the fashion industry, you think? 
I, I mean, I don't think for now it is important. I think that our strength is in our diversity and our numbers. I think that it's important that we look within. I mean, I interviewed one of my friends who's a supermodel as well, and she also has a business mm. that she's running here. And one thing that she emphasized is the strength in our numbers. So yeah. I think it's important that our local designers look within and also try to um, manufacture and make their own, um, uh, grow their own brand mm. within in Nigeria and use that as an advantage in order to uh, boost their um, companies. Well, I think and to boost a large extent we're seeing a subtle move to that. We, you know, some of these, these designers we've never heard before, and uh, I think. Uh, they're delving into that uh, they are. That thought. They, mm. they are. They are doing that. But I, I, I mean, I don't think that it's important that they, they focus on the, on the global market mm. at this point. I think that the, the moment they start to, you know, develop their own brand yeah. properly and basically really to create a following mm. for their brand, then they start to make, because I know that we can generate a lot of money within, mm. within our, um, Nigeria alone mm. has over 200 million people at oh. this point. So mm -hmm. if we can tap into those numbers and and generate our um, industry within, mm. it'll, um, it'll work to our advantage. Very good. And on that note, Oji Opie, many thanks for your thoughts on the fashion business in Nigeria. It's good Thank to have you. you. Thank you. That's it from Global Business Report. Stay with us on Arise News from all of us. Thanks for watching. I'm Ni Wilo.